I cannot figure out a way to say it. So I'm just going to say this. Um, I found this out three times. Anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, I just noticed that only about 8.3% of you who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you are the 91.7%, if you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe. It doesn't hurt, and I very much appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Um, Love you guys. See you in a sec. Okay, let's go back to the episode. Love you. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first episode playing the Cold War, the Iron Curtain, update 0 0.3, the Crescent, the Chikara, and the Tiger. Well, today we are playing in 1949. Of course, I'm not going to read this because I've done read this so many times, but we are going to be playing the Republic of China under Li Zongren. Um, so, there's a Kuomintang mod, and we're definitely, I want to play it because I don't know if, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to win, which is <laughs> terrible, but we're going to try. Um, the Eight Years' War of Resistance has finally ended with the explosive finale to the Japanese imperialism. This is, of course, much costly celebration, but the Kuomintang government cannot afford to celebrate to the point of distraction. There is still great danger of nationalist governments for the lack of threat from China. Japan and China has become divided once more. Thanks to Soviet help, the Chinese communists under Mao Zedong really expanded the territory they occupied to the point of being a dangerous rival to ROC. For now, the Chinese civil war rages on. Every effort must be spent crushing the communists. Um, well, we're definitely going to try and crush the communists. I make no promises. We will, though. So, um, yeah. <laughs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. Hopefully we're going to be able to win, though. I really do hope this will be a winnable thing. I don't love the font of this, I will say. I'm not the biggest fan of the thin font. A bit hard to read. Um, anyway, I've really been interested in the Republic of China as of recent. Um, and I... A little bit of a challenge, I guess, because I it always seems to be a little tough thing for them. So I mean, it looks it's probably gonna be a challenge. Um, that's my thought, at least. Um, oh, it's loading. Just give, give it a second. I'm sure we'll, sure we'll, you know, get it get around to loading graphics. Anyway, point is, I think this. I mean, probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna move the mouse. Um, defend as much as we can, and then when we have. Uh, no thanks. I already know what I'm doing. You know, kind of. <laughs> uh, free civilian factories. Um, just get our army together. Um, first of all. So these guys are... Um, let's just get these guys all together. Um... And these guys will put them under. Uh, who's a good defender? Uh, this guy looks to be not too bad of a defender. So we're going to put it under him. Um, he's the best general we have. But, you know, that's what we have to work with. You know, we are the public of China here. Um, these guys. Um, uh, well, we're going to work on. Let's work on these guys. Um. A lot of the trucks we have um, are unfortunately um, over there, which isn't great, to be honest. I kind of want to move the trucks down to here. Um, you know, that's kind of what I want to do with the trucks. Uh, where's the tanks we have? Uh, do we have many tanks? I don't think we do. We have one tank, which is not really wonderful, but you know, it is what it is. Um, We're gonna deploy him over here. Um, well, actually no. Well, uh, we might have more tanks. We see real quick. I don't think we think we only have two, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, we're gonna work with what we have. Um, and we're gonna defend Shanghai with them. Um, don't love how we have so many. Um, these guys. Uh, we can move them. We can afford to move these guys um, up. 21 divisions. Um, 24 divisions. Uh, we'll put them under a good defender, which will be Fushan, whatever this guy's name is. Um, um, and then we'll get the remainder. Two divisions, one, 
throw them on these guys, one, throw them on these guys. Um, these guys, 69 divisions, where are these guys from? Um, yeah, maybe we can afford to send a couple more divisions. Um, to send them over. Well, actually, you know, well, we'll leave them. We'll leave them. We'll leave them right here. Um, nine divisions under, let's just put them under an okay guy, like him. Civilian, um, these guys, well, these guys probably want to put them on the front line, too. Probably don't want to move them off the front line, I'll tell you that much. That'll probably be a very bad idea. So we're just going to hold hard there. Um, um, 36 divisions now. How many remainder of them? Um, let's get 12, 18, uh, send them over here. Um, the remainder we have. Send, uh, 15, um, send these guys, um, put them, we'll put them over here. So we can have them kind of be in the middle to support everyone. Um, and then these guys, of course, you put under this guy. Uh, actually, what it was, what, uh, you know what, fine. Um, put them all under one guy. Field Marshal Lizan Gren. Uh, one, the last three we'll put under Lizan Gren. Or the other guy is under Chiang Kai Shek. Um, free military factories. We're gonna get infantry equipment. We're gonna get. We're gonna get support equipment. We're gonna get. Artillery. We're gonna get. We're gonna get some. No, we're not gonna get that. We're just gonna get World War II steam train, one or two of those, and some trucks, um, which we don't have enough for, unfortunately. So that sucks, but it is what it is. We're gonna build convoys, and we're gonna just work on. Um, So what can we do? How should we get higher? We, higher commandos would be nice, but unfortunately we can't do that. Um, huh. So what's the first thing we're going to go down? Um, the hyperinflation crisis or the declaration of martial law? I think the um, declaration of martial law will probably be the first thing we want to do. Um, so we get the um, stability in the recruitable population or the hyperinflation crisis. Could deal with that, but I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Um, yeah. Let's, yeah, we're going to declare martial law. Research slot. Um. And I think I'm probably going to save before we start just so we can... I don't have to redo this. That would be, uh, unfun at the very least. Uh, all this organizational stuff. Um, I'll have a little bit to do, of course, from civilian factories, but I don't mind that too much. I'm just gonna put that over there. Uh, municipal infrastructure, I guess? I don't know. Um, modified government? Nothing we're gonna do there. We have exile divisions. Oh. Why are you exiled, buddy? Get over here! Get over here! You gotta help up your boy, bye! Um, no divisions and basic training, that's fine. Um, hmm. I think this is good. I think this is a good start. Um, let's let's start a bit slow. Well, let's go on. Let's a bit fast. Um, the White Sun onwards. Um, the Republic of China, which officially founded in 1912 with the Xinhai Revolution, saw the abdication of the last emperor of China. After Yu and Shen Kai pronounced, pronounced, proclaimed himself emperor of China, a national crisis erupted from numerous provinces. They declared their independence from Beijing, being the heir of warlord warlordism in China. The Kuomintang found itself in Guangdong, where it began a plan expedition to conquer the country. Sun Yat-sen, the founder of the party, died in 1925. After a party struggle between Wang Jingwai and Chiang Kai-shek, Chiang emerged triumphant. It started the northern expedition in the United the country of the Kuomintang banner. The expedition was a success. However, Chiang started the purge of communists from the party in 1927, starting the civil war between the Kuomintang and the CCP. 
which came to a halt in 1936, Chiang was forced to sign a truce between the Communists and former United Front against Japan. After eight long years of war against the Japanese, the Republic emerged victorious, but there's no time to celebrate. The Civil War between the Kuomintang and the CCP reignited in 1846. The CCP is being supported by the Soviet Union and the war exhausted, and the only crop shown within the Kuomintang made the situation even worse. Only time will tell if the Republic will survive this conflict or fall to the Communists. Hopefully we don't fall to the Communists. I'm really hoping we can save ourselves. Um, um, this is not wonderful, I will say the very least, this is not wonderful. I wish we were holding on a bit better. Wuhan, the uh, start of the coronavirus area. We could maybe take that back soon. I'm not sure. What I do know is that the mountainous areas are probably our weakest point at the moment. Um, we definitely have the tanks there, but hopefully we should be able to wear them out a little bit. Uh, we're not facing as much attrition as they are, so they're, they're going to run out of equipment a bit faster, although they are getting some support from other countries. Um. Let's move the troops there to defend. We're not going to let that fall. We're going to keep Shanghai. The release of 1984 it sounds rather familiar. At least to me it does. There's the Republic of China. We all face off these communists. This has been this is being a lot of fun, I will say already. Um a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the We have type three. Let's let's put them in the air. I don't we don't have much of an air force, but you know, we'll try. Um Yo, Push them out, boys. Push them out. It's not working very well, unfortunately. Um, we pushed a little bit. We're pushing not much, but we're pushing a little bit. This war might take a hell of a long time to finish, but, you know, we're going to try. We declare martial law. We're going to not abandon hope, but the temporary provisions and the academy. And we're going to, I don't know how helpful this is going to be. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how helpful this is going to be. Arrest, um, yeah. We might be best friends with the Americans if the Americans choose to help us out, which we're definitely going to need, um, soon enough. Okay, we're not going to push there. That's just plain dumb. That's just plain dumb to push there. Apparently, um, we're holding out well against the, the Chinese advance, uh, except right there, we're not holding out too well. We can, we're not going to lose this. Oh, frick. We just lost another area. We're just, just going to have to keep, you know, trying our best. Luckily, we have a little bit of a bigger army. We have planes in reserve. I, I don't think we have any planes in reserve, buddy. But, you know, we'll try. Um. Maybe, maybe our goal is mostly at this point just to hold out. That's mostly the goal. Um, the holdout. I don't think American assistance is arriving anytime soon, but you know, we can we can always hope and dream, you know what I'm saying? Um Believe. 
Going to hold out against those guys. It'll be brilliant. These little pushes aren't the most helpful, but you know we're we're holding out. Um, for what it's worth, <laughs> this isn't going brilliant. Um, we're getting pushed out in the mountains a little bit. We are slowing down there. Uh, support a little bit. Not too much, of course, so we're doing a little bit. Stability, we're going to drop by 10%. Ideology, drift defense, so that's not great. That is not great, unfortunately. So the temporary provision was granted stability, so it'll take 50 days, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, how far are we to capitulating? We're not, we're not too far, actually. We're doing pretty okay. Chua! Um, we're holding out in the Shanghai region pretty well, I will say. Um, we can push them out there, that would be brilliant. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we can certainly try. Um, attack, attack if we can attack there, that would be brilliant. Um, well, I'm getting a little bit too narrow visions don't want that to happen so um oh frick no we're just gonna we're gonna put some over there declaration of martial law the temporary provisions uh lost some stability which is great to see um, hyperinflation crisis. A turning time to defense of Shanghai after a better campaign, the PLA was forced to its forces could not had not captured Shanghai, the largest, most economically powerful city in China. Control of the city is seen essential for either side to claim victory. Both committed large military forces for the campaign. The ROCs believe starting and controlling the city is essential for securing a base to liberate the mainland. The PRC wanted to take the city to legitimize its regime and gravely weaken the ROC resistance. The ROC claimed its forces to blend communist advance and published pictures of destroyed PRC equipment on the battlefield. The PLA did not address the claims or heavy losses stated that its forces were accessing the situation. The ROC victory is a major boost for the government, which has vindicated its focus on defending the city. Many observers of the conflict suggest the PLA may now be vulnerable to counterattacks in support for the ROC within its control territories is an all-time high of turning point, the defense of Shanghai. The rise and fall of Shanghai means birth and death for the whole nation. Shanghai Shek towards free China. Um, yeah, we're doing, that's not bad, you know, move quickly. Um, um, Let's, uh... Battle of... Where is the battle of Chongqing? Cho... Chongqing? We're holding that. Uh, the battle of Chenle. Cheng. Chengte. We're holding on to that too, so that's brilliant to see. Um, that is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, low integration of the former administration, which is good to see. They're low on stability too. Food consumption resource, the People's Army. They're doing a bit better than we are, but um, they're not doing great either. Um, We have a bigger army than they do, though. So that's our one, our one bonus is we have a bigger army. Um, that's our one big, big mo is we have a bigger army. Um, the Supreme Court frees the Hollywood Ten, a voice of freedom in this chaos. Um, no, buddy, you're staying there. Andrew. 
we can just weaken them a bit. Maybe we can push. Uh, which isn't. I'm not loving this defense right here. If we can cut them off there, that'd be brilliant, though. I don't think it's gonna happen, though, unfortunately. We're holding out in most areas beside the Shanghai region, which we are holding out in. It's just a bit, a bit tight and loose, if you know what I'm saying. Um. Sixty-five, sixty-six. Can maybe push him out. If we, I hope we can at least, at the very least. Oh frick, that is not great. Uh, these guys are going to pull him there. We're not going to lose Heng Zhao. That would not. That would be terrible if we lost Heng Zhao. We need to take some land back, so we need to do. Um. What's our supply? Our supply is not looking great, I'll be honest with you. It's not looking top tier. Um, though we are holding out in the mountain areas. Um, we're gonna send these guys down here to those guys. Move, we can move those guys down there. That'll be brilliant. We're holding out in most places. If we can take that area, that'd be brilliant. If we can just sweep around. We're losing. Luckily, we have more forces, so we can hold out a bit better. But just barely, though. Just barely. We're gonna lose their supply, that's great, we can push, 80. 86, 88, 89, 90, 91. Um, one, we're gonna defend one troop there. We're, tr we're trading land for land, essentially. Push the air, that'll be brilliant. Uh, we're, we need a uh, push there. So if we can, we can surround them, that'll be. Absolutely brilliant. We can get one, even one division down. That'll be absolutely brilliant. These guys send them to attack there. And hopefully, if we, we start, that's only one division, but it is one division down, and that means a lot easier for us. Um, Su Cao, once that falls, I'll be absolutely brilliant, and I'll lose a bit of their supply, too. Guys, um, oh gosh, guys, move back in. Don't, don't do this to me. Um. can surround some more divisions, that'll be brilliant. We're actually winning the Civil War, I think, just barely. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to win it in the time frame. Bribe the new Guangxi League. Um, 
uh, what's called Hunan Krieg, Brag the Hunan Krieg. Yeah, we need to get them up a bit more, the Shinkan Krieg. Um, we're holding out though, which I'm very nice. I'm very proud to see our troops holding out. Got him. We can't lose that. We can't lose this. Um, we cannot lose that area right there. That area is essential to our force. Um. You guys, you guys need to uh, listen. We're gonna get these guys. Uh, no, uh, these guys. Holding out, which is good to see. They're pushing in a lot of areas. They're losing equipment in a lot of areas, which is good to see. We have, we have we have the general advantage, which is amazing to see. Cause they're just mass pushing at us and it's not working for them. Radio Free Europe, interesting. Gonna push those guys or hold them back for a minute. We might be able to gain some ground. Push there, we can gain a little bit. If we can just, the goal is just to gain as little ground or not little ground per se but you know you know what I'm saying the PRC established a four ministry Mo Mongolian recognition campaign signed to Thailand Thailand changes national name once more hyperinflation crisis um, uh, let's go with semi reduced land cost If we can surround all those guys, I'll be that would be absolutely brilliant. those guys on the attack yes sir we surrounded them barely uh, now we gotta take advantage of this um, we gotta make sure we take good advantage of this and crush their forces um, real quick how many troops do they have they have 140 troops at most which I don't think they have 140 troops so we just crushed a good amount of those troops so I'm pretty happy. Um, there's only two troops there left. There we go. The Shanghai region is ours. Um, um, launch agricultural mission. Um, let's go with that. Yeah. Um, Chinese Civil War moved quickly. We do, look, we're doing pretty well on stability. It's a little bit better than the PRC, actually, which is interesting to note. Um, we're pushing on so many fronts, they just can't afford to push anymore. I think I'm gonna try and push to that area so we spread out their forces a bit more. 
Let's assign these guys under. Let's get a new commander. Uh, Wang Wang Wei. He's not great, but he's what we have. Um, um, four out of five. These guys are going to send them over there to take Indian King. If we can take Indian King, that will be a big MO for us. Take those guys out. If we can take Wuhan, that would be absolutely brilliant. Just take a little bit of land. Don't care about that. Surround them there, that'll be brilliant. Our tanks really have been the thing saving us. Last less than a day, hopefully, because I mean these guys are going to be there quite soon. There we go, boys. They have a good they have a good amount of troops, definitely not as much as us though. Which is brilliant to see. Get those two divisions surrounded, that'll be brilliant also. There we go, boys. Soviet suspend claims to the Turkish Straits. Great. If we can take me and King, that would be just absolutely brilliant. We're not doing as fast as I would probably like to be going. But if we hold this river line, this will be very hard for them to take us out now, though. So that's one thing we need to do is get the river line. Um, reduce land cost, American foreign aid, brilliant. Um, I guess we have nine fighters, uh, close air support. I don't know how helpful this will be, but you know, hopefully, maybe a little bit. Crossing river line is not easy for us to say the very least. Get those guys. Get those guys. 
Let's just crush them from multiple sides. Hopefully that should just absolutely obliterate them. They're pushing a lot. I don't know how they're able to push so much, but you know, that's you know that's a question. It's a question I don't have an answer for either. Um hopefully we'll be able to surround them. That would be very nice. The Wuhan defense line is looking very good. I will say I love the Wuhan defense line. Um bribe the Wuhan uh the chicken. We have we have some communist stuff, but not too terribly. Um, kind of worried about the move quickly. Nine hundred twenty-nine days. I want to move quickly, but you know, unfortunately, it's a bit tough with all of this. That's not gonna work. Um, looks like our big advances are gonna have to happen over here. We're gonna keep pushing. I don't know how they able to keep. They're able to keep pushing. You know, that's, that's one question. <laughs> World War II construction, let's go with, let's go with World War II production again. Um. These guys are five days, they're gonna be very, they're very slow, to say the least. How long does it take you guys to get there? Three hours, boom bada bing, we did it. those guys to attack there. If we can get one division down, that would be absolutely brilliant. If we can surround those guys, that would be even more brilliant. Five divisions. Terrible. They, they got us knocked down again. Knocked us out. At least we might have killed some of their forces. Yeah, we could be killed. Uh, we've killed a lot more than they've killed of us, which is one one bonus to our side. Um. Uh, let's go with the uh, Ning Ningia. 
killed the Shenzai Klieg. So that will maybe hurt them a little bit. At least hopefully. DDR established. I'm very much worried about the... We're gonna be able to end this war on time. I'm very worried about that. Um... Okay, these guys attack. Oh, come on! Terrible. You just get those guys down. Every time we're about to get an encirclement, gets broken by these darn communists. This, what's this move on those guys? If we can move, get if we can expand the line a little bit, maybe we can get them to. If we can just surround those guys, that would be brilliant. Gandhi's assassin, American foreign aid, expanding, uh, let's go with, re uh, let's go with, uh, close reconstruction. There's a bit trouble, some, with, um, I just want to take out that tank. If we can take out the tank, we might have a shot. It's about the small victories in the Kuomintang land. It's about the small victories. Um. bit laggy which is unfortunate it's kind of bugging me but you know it is what it is um oh my gosh just push guys push it's not hard push Get in there, knock him out, and we can win this damn war. We can win this war. You guys will have a fun time. You guys will support you. Don't worry about it. Just win this war for us. There we go, let's attack those guys. Okay, 
There we go, let's attack those guys. If we can push there, that'd be brilliant. They're trying to take Wuhan, but they can't take it because the river is just too tough for them. Can't lose that. Can't lose it. We gotta take we gotta take this encirclement, boys. Um Can't gotta make sure they don't get out of there. If we can take in the land, we just gotta make sure we can push them out a bit more. Um, Free Albanian National Committee. Oh my gosh! Gosh, you guys so stupid. No, stop pushing. Stop pushing. Push against those guys. Guys, move in there. Did we lose troops? I feel like we lost troops. No, I don't think we did. Um, we might have lost a couple, but I don't think we lost many. Um, at the very least. Four troops into there. Guys, nope, you're not abandoning your post. You're getting in there, boys. Do not abandon your post. Well, all of them are trying to go red. Interesting. Jordan and Dobson's remaining in there. Yes, sir. We can push in multiple directions. Ah, oh, so annoying. Nearly had that encirclement. I think we will still get it, but it's just gonna be a lot of trouble to get. Let's try and let's try and take them out there. If we can take them out there, that'll be very nice. I don't think we will though. Move over there. Move over there. Move over there. Surround them there. One step closer to midnight. If we can just knock that guys out. Okay. Two days. I think we can. I think we can do it, boys. I think we can do it. Yes, sir. Let's okay. Let's knock these guys out real quick. We're not, we're not losing this. It's a great encirclement, and we're not gonna take it for granted this time. There we go. Uh, these guys tank, put them over there. Put you over there, put you over there. They have four troops pushing, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to our defenses. They're trying to push on all fronts there, which it's been annoying, but you know, it is what it is. 
Um, We're just holding out here, and it's a bit annoying just because uh, we need so many troops, which we just don't have, unfortunately. We can. Let's get these guys. We'll put them over here. We don't know who Sean can use them. Yo, get over there, bud. Get over there, you're getting over there. You're getting over there. Um This is a bit annoying trying to push these guys out. I will say at the very least. Stall initiation of the KPR, but we'll recognize it the PRC reconstruction. Remote democratic industry universal. Let's go with that. Um, I don't know how they keep pushing us so much. They're just they keep pushing. Uh, Hunan, Klieg. Let's go to Qinghai. go around, I don't know. Um, this is, these encirclements are not going as beautifully as I'd, of course, hoped, but, you know. Push there, maybe we can knock him out a little bit. Senator McCarthy is Lincoln Day speech. Move those guys, put them there. Put those guys there. Put those guys there. Tough battle, at the very least, I will say. Israel joins the United Nations, interesting. One guy, stay back. We can circle one division, it won't be brilliant, but you know, it's something at the very least. And if we can push there, we can maybe save those guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to push in time. 97. Ninety-eight. Let's get those guys over there. There we go. 
brilliant. Eliminate those guys, boys. Do it. Do it quickly. Get it done. Fortunately, we've allowed them to push us back, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they're trying to push us out there. We're not gonna let, they're, we're not gonna let that happen, though. We're not gonna let that happen. We can do our old strategy of pushing people. There we go, if we can surround them there, that'll be absolutely brilliant. Um, these guys I want to push if we can. I don't want to push those guys out, sadly, where we don't have the forces available. Um... Maybe it's around one division. It won't be much, of course, but it will be something. There we go, boys. If we can get those guys down, that'd be even brillianter. Push those guys out before we lose our ground. Chiang Kai shek resumes presidency. Uh, brilliant. So glad to see you, Chang. Lando air disaster. We have Q in Afghanistan. Still hasn't lost the troop, which is good to see. Um, push those guys out, that'd be brilliant. We 
we can I wanna surround those three, but if I can if I can take them out normally I'll take them out. Oh frick. King Peru goes to France. Education Franco. Um, I don't think we're gonna save those guys. They're not gonna be saved, unfortunately, it doesn't look like. Now that's that's a big oof. That's four divisions lost. It's not great. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can make do with the losses. Um that's my big hope. We don't have the infantry equipment right now, unfortunately. To deal with these losses. Um, I believe we, we can surround more divisions. That's all. All it counts for me. Can we surround more divisions? If we can get those guys down, it will be all worth it. I'll tell you that much. It'll be all worth it. No national focus set. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Let's go with construction speed. And King, let's go for it, boys. Take Dan King, that should hurt their supplies too, so that'll be one big bonus. Um, Dan King is ours, which means the People's Republic's a bit weaker. Um, for, bribe the ninja. Bribe, bribe the young Krieg. Let's bribe the Shanghai Krieg again. Um, hopefully that should hurt them a little bit. Yeah, now they have zero percent stability. We also have zero percent stability, but you know it is what it is. Um. Crush these guys. If we can crush them, that would be absolutely brilliant. Of course. Knock out those four divisions, I'll be good. These two guys are lasting somewhat well, actually. I'm surprised by how well they're lasting. If we can get those forces, we need to get these forces. Back on the front lines, because we can't afford to just keep hitting these guys for like the next year. I don't want to lose our big encirclement that we worked so hard for. People's Republic of China has less divisions now, hopefully. Good to see. Oh, we can integrate the Sh Shanghai Klieg. That should hopefully do some big damage to them. And that that did it. That not that secured our Shanghai region for us.
worldwide protest against Bevan plan. Oh frick, no, 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 no. We cannot afford to lose that. Oh frick, we need to get in there, boys. No, 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 no. We're about to lose all our hard work. No, on this front. That's so annoying. Stop the halt the attack. No, no, don't halt the attack. We got one of them, it looks like. So, that's good. That's good enough for me. Let's hit him hard, boys. Actually, they're kind of pushing us in the mountain region, which is not great to see, but it is what it is. Um, World War II production. They're panicking, it looks like, so they're just on the mass assault doctrine. Which means we're probably going to be able to push them out fairly well. I think we're going to go 1951 this episode, and then we'll end the episode there. Uh, 21 divisions. The Shanghai League, the Chinese Civil War. I'm not like, loving how hard it is to beat the, the People's Liberation Army. Um, how's America looking? Um, are they gonna help us out? I would hope so, but maybe not. Asia, the Chinese Civil War. Leave it to fate. Leave it to fate. You dumb rock. Um. Okay, I'm not going to be on your side, Truman. I'm, you know, Team China over here. Team ROC. Because you leave it to fate, you jerk. That's just... Ooh, that is annoying. That is very annoying. I mean, we're going to win, I think. We're on the winning side here of the war. But, you know... Really, America, we could have won this war a long time ago. You don't want to help us win? Like, you piece of jerk. It's gonna hurt our stability quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, the Kabuka Crisis, the Korean War, war never changes. Oh, Galley Affair. We're just gonna sit here for a minute and get our, our stuff up. These guys, Sigma and Re, the Korean War. How many troops do they have? 6,630. We have 139. So we're a bit similar still. Um.
Um, if we can get that up, we can integrate the Shanghai Klieg. Let's try and unite the fronts over here. If we can do that, that'll be absolutely brilliant. Got the Shanghai clique loyalty, which is good to see. Always oh, got to get the Hunan on our side. How many how many years do we have? We have seven hundred days to get this done now, so we're not doing terrible. Boys, charge on those guys. We're no longer at the Civil War. I don't even know what effect we had, but you know what? Push them out of here. We'll have another river line to work with. Of course, I'm not liking this. This is very scary to me. Can I even recruit any troops? I I cannot. So we're kind of kind of out of it. Um, they have a good amount of troops. I have a good amount of troops. I have more than they do, though. Still, it takes a lot more for me to push. If we can push here and get this river line, I might build a, a fall of soul concerning. Um, 21, uh, 22, those guys, um, and push them out there, that'll be brilliant. Oh frick, let's go, let's, let's try and get those guys down. Eighty-eight, picking out a little bit, maybe one. Get the, we just need to take the river line, really. We're still pushing them and they're expanding their front line, what they can't really afford to do. Ninety-two. We can surround those guys in those three provinces, which is probably my next goal. They're just gonna keep pushing them, which is a bit annoying. Um. Surround them. That would be brilliant. If we can get all these forces, I think we'd want to win the Civil War quite easily. Um, those guys um, move on those guys you can crush them from multiple sides if they're probably out you know Good 
Get the surround over there. Be a good force to knock out. Unfortunately, we're losing. Seven. That's so dumb. Second battle, Soul. Why are the Americans helping those guys out, but they're not helping us? This is kind of really annoying. Uh, let's go with uh, entrenchment speed. Grand assault. We're pushing us so much and it's so bloody annoying. I can't do too much to stop it, which is the annoying thing. There's only so much I can do. Um, bribe the Yunnan Klieg. Let's go out to bribe the Yunnan Klieg. Union resolution, they got our support. Um, we'll love to send volunteer forces to you, but we, we can't. Unfortunately, so good luck. Peace be with you. Battle of Inchon, a downing move. Indeed it is. I think the DPRK is out of it. The Yunnan Klee, we have good loyalty in most places. Let's go boys, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not do anything stupid, let's, let's get him down. Surround those guys, it'll be brilliant. All forward, boys, all forward. Where my condemned American in. Um, imperialism. They're pushing over there in the center, and we're sending on the Shanghai, the coastline. If we can win the coastline, I think it'll be over for them. 
注意注意为了国家有何指示执行命令出发Push them there, boys. Go for this massive encirclement. This will be a massive, massive encirclement right here. If we can pull it off, it would be absolutely brilliant. Which I don't know if we will pull it off, but we're gonna try. This will be the Civil War winning move right here. This will be the move of the century. Um, yeah, we've got to integrate the Guangxi Krieg. We're gonna be able to pull it off, but we're certainly gonna try and pull it off. Um, there's their weak at their strongest point is right there in the little area in the Shinkang region, which we can't really afford to lose because we're gonna we're gonna lose a lot if we lose that area. But I think we're gonna pull off this massive push. I think we might pull it off. Might it might just happen. <laughs> Ninety eight, ninety nine, please, ninety nine. Let's just have ninety nine real quick. What's crushing, boy? Ninety nine. We lost the end king, but that's okay. We're gonna pull off this massive encirclement, hopefully. Um. We're pushing, we're pushing fast, we're pushing well. Maybe not. We'll leave that be. We don't have the forces to extend for that. As much as I would love to do that, I can't afford to. Uh, Still quite a while. We still quite a while to win the war. We've lost a bit of ground, unfortunately. We haven't lost too much ground there, though. They have lost a lot more ground than we have, I will say. Grab them there, boys. Push them.
91. Let's, let's go, boys. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. 98, 99. Oh frick, we lost our tank. Well, have we? Yeah, we have, unfortunately. That really sucks. Um, but it is what it is. Um, that's really terrible to lose our tank. Because that tank has been holding out for us so long. But with this encirclement, I think we may have just made up for it. Um, we'll fire, let's go. Let's go on a mass assault, boys. Um, we're not letting our boys fall. Our boys ain't gonna fall. Not on our watch. There we go, let's push them boys. of the Crusaders. Let's, let's crush them, boys. If we can get those guys down, they'll be absolutely brilliant. Let's get some more in. Only five, but it's something. Oh, we lost our tank. Now that's a deal. Coalition forces approach the Yalu River. Um, fall of Pyongyang. Fortunately, it looks like we lost our tanks in the Nanking area. But it looks like we are going to hold out against these folks down here and get like nine divisions at the very least. Uh, eight divisions. Oh, yeah, still a lot. Go down. We lost some divisions. They lost some divisions. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to come out on top though. They're gonna, they've lost a lot more casualties. Um, just, I guess they can afford it a bit more than we can. Though. Um, still, it is. We're doing not. Not terribly. Not well, not terribly though. Let's try and go for that encirclement. It's definitely been a bruising for both of us. Uh, we're both cruising for a bruising, but uh, these guys seventeen troops. Uh, we need a we need to make sure they can't get that big encirclement. We got to make sure that can't happen. These guys, push them. Go, 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 boys. Looks like they're going for this big push over here. That's their their big, the big MO for them is the big push over there. Basically, we're switched, we've switched positions, which I don't know who's going to come out on top in this, but I can hope it's us. Uh, 
Um, this is me now. 86, so we can push the air, let me play it. I like what we're gonna do with that. Um, let's just push the air. Relieve them some of the pressure. They've cut us off! They've cut our forces off! Ugh! That is big oof, big oof on our part. Um, execution Chelman sick. Um, we can get those one division, it won't be much, but we gotta make sure we do get it. We gotta make sure we keep these divisions in our line. Too. They're still holding out so well over here, which I'm so surprised. That's what I'm surprised by personally. We gotta make sure we don't lose any ground. Yes, we gotta. I think we've finally solidified that. Let's go without that push. We just don't have the forces we need for these these pushes. Making a lot of dumb mistakes, and this is not going as well as I was as it was earlier. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. Uh, bribe the new Guangzi Klieg. Ninety-eight. If we just push these guys out, I feel like we'll have a little bit more solidified of a front. Hold off of being encirclement, but we need to get that. We need to get that line united. Ah, oh, we just don't have the forces, though. We just don't have the forces. 125, 100, 100 divisions. We're losing a lot. They're losing a lot. It's uh, it's going well. I'm not gonna say it's going well. It's going very poorly. Um, this is going not as well as I would hope. If we can push there, I think we might be able to save our guys. Um, about halfway through the time now. We gotta make sure we can, if we can crush you guys, I think we might have a chance. Um, to make sure we can just run up to Xinjiang. We can run up to Xinjiang and then make Beijing fall. I think we might have a good chance. How much our stability at? Um, zero percent. So I feel like we have a we have a good shot. We have a good shot at this. Let's crush them, boys. Go make sure they make them fall. What are they at? Two point two, two point one. How the hell are they not falling yet? They're tough. I give them. I give them that. They're tough forces. Oh. 
they are tough. Um, second. Um, okay, so what is going on here? Um, so I feel like they're on the winning side here. We can finally afford to push there now. How many tools do they have for... Golly, they got more than we do, maybe. I don't know. I feel like they do, though. Feels like they got so many. We just gotta hold out. Hopefully not fall. Oh. Can't lose that area. We're gonna lose the sword coming up. We lose that. Thirty-five. We're not doing too well. I don't know how these guys are holding on so well. It's impressive, I will say. Yeah, I no. I'm gonna probably end the episode because this looks like it's gonna be an F, unfortunately, in the chat. But I love y'all. Hope to see y'all next time. And good bye. We took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down to mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we caught the bloody British in a town in New Orleans. We fired our guns and the